Hey everybody, welcome back. So in case you're curious, uh, I am planning, probably in the next video after this, to uh, try the first wing of Nyalotha in LFR. As you can see, that is now up and available. It's the only one that's up. The other three, uh, yeah, the other three wings are not available yet. They'll be added later. So I figure we may as well try. I've been working on getting this character kind of ready for that. I'm up to 433 item level. Um, I've gotten my cloak up to rank 5. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, you know, I'll find out very soon. I actually have not been doing a lot of the um, stuff involving... <laughs> Believe it or not, since 8.3 launched, you know what I've mainly been doing? I have not been actually doing the assaults. I have hardly spent any time in either Old Doom or, um, or the Veil. I really haven't. Uh, I've done that maybe twice or three times total. Believe it or not, I've been working on this. The Draenor Pathfinder. Yes, rather than being in Old Doom or... Uh, Veil, vale, I have been in Draenor working on unlocking flying there, believe it or not. Can you believe that? <laughs> 8.3 comes out, and what do I do? I spend time in Draenor. <laughs> Anyways, the reason we're here is because there is... Oh, I also, also I should mention, I've been doing a lot more island expeditions um, because of the extra Azerite. I've gotten my Azerite heart now up to level 70, and uh, plus... I realized every time I do an island, I have a chance at getting one of the many mounts, as I've mentioned before. I've already actually gotten uh, at least one or two mounts from doing those, including the Twilight Avenger mount, which is a pretty cool-looking drape mount. But the reason we're here is because I recently got uh, this quest. I believe it was downstairs from... I got this from Lillian Voss. Derek is free. I have to atone... I have to atone for much with him. There is a rumor of a meeting with Jaina and her brother. Head to Seabreeze Village in Stormsong Valley. I hope you'll be able to find out... Well, let's just say that I'm trying to keep the bigger picture in focus. If you find out anything of interest, I would be most appreciative. For now, let's just keep this between the two of us. So, we are heading to Stormsong... To eavesdrop on a secret meeting involving Jaina, Derek, and another certain special lady. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I I don't know what happened. That is actually kind of hilarious. And why is it telling me to oh. Why did it just drop me in the middle of the water as opposed to taking me here to the base that I've already unlocked? I think that's a bug, but then again, we've had a number of bugs, but also a number of hotfix patches ever since this, uh, this patch came out. It's a work in progress, I'm sure. Ah, sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to turn that off. You're going to hear that go off a few times. Let's just say I've also been working on that because let's just say it also makes doing some of these world quests, as you can see here, a lot easier because then it'll mark them as a pink skull and let me know, oh, they're right there. Uh, especially if they are attached to any world quests, I can just go straight there. This is something I've not just been doing on this character, but other characters as well. So, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my mistake. Now, of course, this is a little dangerous because these can be in areas where we could get flagged for something. I find boss. it hilarious. Yeah, boss. Ah, <sighs> whatever. I'll help. I'll help out this. Point. Look at this. A horde helping out alliance. I must be a traitor. I like how it shows this is where you're supposed to be. Ah, oh, Jaina. What a relief to see you safe. Hello, Kalia. Big brother. 
Word has spread of what happened at Orgrimmar. Is the war finally over? It will take time for all the pockets of fighting to be quelled, but... Yes, I believe so. Azeroth has seen so many wars, so much strife. I pray we have earned a respite. As do I. Have you been able to find peace in your own heart, Derek? I still have some rough seas to sail, but I'm much better now, thanks to Kalia. Without her guidance, I would have been truly lost. I'm so grateful you brought us together, Jaina. This time with Derek has helped me as much as it's helped him. In the wake of this war, others will need to find their footing, their future. Perhaps you could guide them, too. I'm not sure how much help I could be. I don't have all the answers. Maybe they don't need answers. Maybe they just need hope. Like I did. Well said, big brother. Come, let's take a walk. I am so grateful to have you both back in my life. Let's enjoy this moment together. I should probably take a moment to explain because you're probably going, wait, Kalia Menethil? Yes, that is in fact Arthas's big sister. I believe she's a couple of years older than Arthas was. And, well, we're not going to go into the whole technically about her being the uh, the, <laughs> the remaining lord of Lordaeron. We're not even going to go into that. But you're probably wondering, why is she undead? Well, the funny thing is she's not actually the type of undead that we have seen in the past. This is a, a different type of undead that we haven't seen. It's because of the circumstances surrounding it. So in one of the, I believe, it was either one of the books or one, a comic that was leading up to BFA. So, we met Kalia in Legion. You meet her if you are a priest. So, if you're a priest, you go to um, a place in Tirisfall to meet Alonzus Fowl uh, for your first uh, artifact quest. And you meet Kalia. And it is until later that he reveals to you that that's actually Kalia Menethil. It was kind of a secret because, well, the after what happened with Arthas and the Menethils, her identity was kind of a big deal because, well, let's also not forget who else would be interested in that. In fact, I am, of course, referring to Sylvanas. Sylvanas finds out about her and she kills her. Yes, Sylvanas finds out about Kalia and just straight up murders her. So Anduin, seeing how horrible that was, actually helps, you know, and the thing we have to remind ourselves is that Res is not just a gameplay thing in World of Warcraft. It's an in-lore thing. Resurrection is actually an in-lore thing that can be done, especially with the light. It has been done before, and that's kind of basically what happens here. Kalia is, if I recall, if I have this right... She is a an undead that has been brought back with the light. So in a in a way, in a strange way, she's like almost like a light forged undead. It's an interesting mix between the two, between undead and the light. So she is kind of a unique form of undead. So you know that model you just saw that was actually updated for this upcoming patch. And, well, you can kind of tell just by that meeting that she and Derek have kind of uh, hit it off, basically. Which is not surprising, considering that Jaina and Arthas were uh, in love, so why not have their siblings fall in love as well, you know? <laughs> it's clear the Proudmoors and the Melthos, they're just meant to be. Now, I'm curious if we're going to get to see the next part of this, because I've already seen this on YouTube, and I'm really hoping I'll get to show it to you guys. And I'm very... Let me let me see here. Let me just double-check this. Report to Lillian Voss. Okay. Let's now see if I can actually... So I think I have to head back to Zuldazar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh... Actually, rather than use my Astral Recall, I'll just uh, take a moment to show this off. <laughs> I just think this is really cool. The fact that they... I want them to add more. I've already got two of these special Hearthstone animations. And 
I want them to add more of these. I don't know how many there are total in the game. I have this one and the Great Father Winter one that I got during the Winter Veil event. Um, but I would love to see them add more of these. So I believe, if I recall, Lillian Voss is on the ship. And now we've got the thing where my character is moving, but the screen is not. Got a lot of, like, loading in and rendering issues lately. And yes, as you can see, the Alliance is attacking! But yeah, the the idea... And it's it been interesting seeing the different results... Or not results, reactions from various different players about this. Now, I am... Let me be clear about this. I am 100% behind the idea of Kalia basically becoming a new leader for the Forsaken. Because I think she is what they need. You know, we can do the whole Dark Knight thing. She's not the leader they deserve, but the hero they need. You know? But obviously with Sylvanas piecing out so that she can serve her new lord and master the jailer i don't care what the devs say come on she's working for this this guy she may think oh i'll be able to run things no 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 <laughs> that's i don't i don't think that's how that's gonna work i think um she's in for a reality check here's lillian but um let's see if this will give us access My to the next scene shot. Well, that is interesting. I must act quickly. Because of Sylvanas, some members of the Horde are skeptical of the Forsaken. We must regain their trust. We cannot do that without accepting ourselves. So many right now feel lost, alone, abandoned. I've arranged a meeting. It could be a big step or I'll go horribly wrong. Either way, you should bear witness. Meet me in Tears Fall Glades at the Calston Estate. Ah, here's what I was referring to. So this should let us see the next uh, step in this little arc here. Let me see. Tears Fall Glades. There we go. All right. Near Calston Estate. Okay. Hopefully this is not... Well, even so, I think this might still be the... Um, you know, just to speed this up. Actually, what's the quickest way to get to Tears Fall Glades right now? Oh, I guess, uh, Silver Moon, yeah. So I'll use my Astral Recall to go there and then take the portal to Silver Moon and then we'll just head on over. Or I could go to Orgmar and take the portal to Undercity. <laughs> uh,. Believe it or not, it's still there, even though you would in lore it wouldn't be. But we'll just go to Silver Moon, I guess. Ah, yes. The Burning Crusade loading screen with a comma. And I have. You know, it's been funny in the you know, I'm, while preparing for this, I've also been doing my new series on the uh, starter zone. It's been working on the Blood Elf starter zone. Been thinking about the stuff leading up to uh, Burning Crusade. And I was, and I've been thinking a lot about. Uh, I've also been checking into the, um, while also working on Warcraft Three Reforged, I've also been looking into the stuff from Burning Crusade with a comma, and especially in the book, the Illidan book, the stuff with the comma is just awesome and fascinating. How delicately he had to go about the whole thing. See, now it's telling me use this orb to go in the Inner Sanctum to travel to Undercity. All right, let's see if this will work. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that this could work either for the previous version of Tears Fall or the new version, not entirely sure. I always get hesitant about this because sometimes this isn't entirely accurate or the best way to go about it.
But uh, going back to what I was saying, and you heard Lillian Voss say it just just not too long ago. Oh, look, I'm right at... Oh, so that's where this orb is. Huh. Right at the ruins of Lordaeron. Okay. Yeah, this is clearly the... Um, the past version, not the present version. Because if this was the present version, this would be covered in blight, and Brill would just be a smoldering field of burning ash, basically. But it's like what Lillian was saying. Right now, the Forsaken are not in a good spot when it comes to the Horde. Because, well, many of them were just so devoted to Sylvanas, and basically the Forsaken people, which... You know, I've been saying some of them need to stop being Sylvanas fanboys and fangirls and need to be their own people. That This is kind of like the, a very important point in their history where they need to help kind of prove themselves. Now, from what I understand, there's a... Uh, yep, there's Callie and Derek. From what I understand, this is actually supposed to be a quote-unquote romantic date between the two. Because, of course, those two are going to start dating. And I think we are... Hello. <laughs> I think this little lemon player is like, oh, what's a 120 doing here? Just helping Lillian spy on Kalia and Derek. So yeah, we've kind of interrupted their date, basically, so. I live my life in the shadows. Kalia, Menethil, and Derek Proudmore have come a long way to speak with us. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. There is much to be done. My lady, thank you for agreeing to meet with me. I am Lillian Voss. Miss Voss, I once listened to your father's sermons. That was... Long ago. Uh, forgive me, I haven't introduced my companion. This is Lord Derek Proudmore. Lord Proudmore, you should know that I played a part in the events that led to your undeath. I regret much of what has happened. Did you see what they did to me in that pyramid? How they tortured my mind? Intended to wield me as a weapon against those I love. I did not know at first. Once I did, I should have stopped it. Bane Bloodhoof showed the courage I lacked. If I could change the past, I would. You didn't reach out to offer apologies. Why did you ask us here? This champion witnessed your kindness toward Lord Proudmore. How you helped him through his torment. Sadly, he is not the only one who suffered in the war. Night Elf Sentinels? Why are you... <gasps> By the light. Many fell at Teldrassil. Some were raised into rage and darkness. Turned against their own people. They too have been abandoned. Death is... cold. Even for those who burn. Kalia, I know the pain they suffer. The hopelessness. You must do something for them. We will, Derek. Together. Greetings. I am Kalia Menethil of Lordaeron. I will do my best to help you. Please, come with us. Well, Lillian, I think that probably went as well as it could. That meeting went exactly as I'd hoped. I believe Kalia Menethil can help many who are lost. We I will speak so again soon. There is more work to be done. Agreed. You know, I think this is a very big moment for the Forsaken. I think this can be a huge turning point for them. 
especially when it comes to them trying to re-earn their trust amongst the Horde. Because, let's be honest, for a long time, the Forsaken being part of the Horde was a con- kind of a convenience, an arrangement of convenience, because there was never really any trust there. Partly because of Sylvanas. And actually, probably mostly because of Sylvanas. Even Vol'jin, when he was dying, said, I have never trusted you. But now that Sylvanas is out of the picture, and it's just these people who have been brought back, some okay with it, some not. You remember Lillian Voss's struggle here in this, here in Tears Fall when you first create a Forsaken, and you see how much she is struggling with this, and having to deal with this new reality? That's the kind of thing that is very, very true for many of the Forsaken members, including a number of the civilians that were in Undercity that were just trying to live their new lives in existence, not necessarily be part of these armies or soldiers. Some were just, you know, people. Just people. That's it. Another thing I'm, I'm wondering about, because we saw Undead Sentinel, you know, or Night Elf Sentinels right there. You saw her, right? The uh, Night Elf Sentinel, uh... Dalaran Summermoon, who I'm pretty sure is the one from that Warbringer cutscene that uh, called out Sylvanas. I'm pretty sure that this, at least, I'm not, well, I'm not pretty sure. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this means we are going to get some updated models for um, the undead. I want to see what he was talking about. Is he talking about my axe? Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, it really isn't that amazing. He probably thinks it is, but really it's not. But anyways, that was kind of cute to see that person. Like, oh my gosh, your thing's amazing. I'm like, well. Anyways, think about it. Them, They were basically saying, we are willing to join the Forsaken because where else can they go? This is kind of a reality about many of the Forsaken. They're brought back as Forsaken and where else can they go? Where some... Where they would be accepted just kind of you know allowed to just live their new existence now sylvanas was kind of forcing them into a position where they had to had to join and accept whereas now they can be given a choice or rather if they feel like they have nowhere to go they can be welcomed into a new family like imagine how delaire and summer moon must have felt Death is cold even for those who burn, you know. And the amount of sentinels that were there that were now undead, that they felt like they had nowhere else to go. But now Kalia and Derek, perhaps now being the new co-rulers, well, maybe not rulers, but kind of like helping run things for the Forsaken and try to help members of the Forsaken that feel lost during this time period. I think this is a this is an awesome positive thing. I love this this move, this direction, because it makes sense that you would have someone like, well, you know, that you would have someone take over leadership for the Forsaken now that Sylvanas is no longer in the picture. Plus, she killed the council that she used to have running the Forsaken in her place because, well, they didn't deserve to be higher up than her, right? She wanted to be the sole ruler of the Forsaken alongside her her uh, her boy toy, Nathanos. But doesn't this make sense? This was Lordaeron. Technically speaking, Kalia, I mean, even though she's actually kind of undead, she's basically the last member of the Menethil family, so she's really kind of the... the... the, <laughs> the remaining heir to the Menethil throne when you think about it here in Lordaeron. So it would kind of make sense. Plus, a proud Moor ruling at her side. I mean, we all used to think that that was going to be Jaina and Arthas. Except now it's going to be Kalia and Derek, and to me that just makes so much sense. And I think it's actually an awesome positive thing. I'm looking forward to seeing now what they do with the Forsaken with if Kalia and Derek really embrace this this new role of leadership amongst the Forsaken, trying to help lead them in a direction. Plus, think about this. Think about this. Think about how this can help relations between the Horde and the Alliance. Kalia Menethil and Derek Proudmore, Jaina's brother, helping lead the Forsaken, who are technically still a part of the Horde. 
not, obviously not the ones who still remain loyal to Sylvanas, but the ones at, at Orgrimmar who saw her basically turn on them, and they basically were like, well, forget her, you know. It was nice to see in that cinematic that there were Forsaken that were more loyal to the Horde than Sylvanas. And I think that's awesome. And I think that this could be a bridge now when it comes to diplomacy and such between the Horde and the Alliance because, I mean, for goodness sakes, it's Jaina's brother and Arthas' sister leading a, a part of the Horde being related to the Alliance. I'm, I'm just saying there's that connection's there. It could actually be an awesome thing. I think. Just my opinion. I'm sure many people disagree. I've seen... I think this guy's in the same quest. Um, I've seen some people just vehemently hate this. And, you know, it's like, oh, hashtag not my queen. You know, basically still being Sylvanas fanboys and fangirls. Refusing anyone taking leadership from the Forsaken from Sylvanas. Especially Kalia. Because apparently they hate Kalia or Derek. I don't know. I don't know why. But, I mean, for goodness sakes, to me, it just not only makes sense, but it works. So, I don't think there's any follow-up to this. As far as I know, this is the last uh, thing that they have added in regards to this storyline. But I really hope this continues. I really hope it does. So, anyways, I wanted to show you that little tidbit. When we come back, I will more than likely be trying out the first wing of LFR... Nyalotha, The Waking City. Stay tuned.